Sustain on that. I know. They're great, aren't they? Hello, and welcome to All About the Bass. I'm Nathan. I'm Lee. And today we have we've a, got things we've got on the end of our on of our end of our next. dingwalls. What's going on there? <laughs> Hello. Something on the end of my dingwall. <laughs> you should uh, see a doctor about that. <laughs> I know. I've tried. They won't have a look. Right. Anyway, so then here um, we are. Ding. Well, we love these bases, don't we? We've, we've, we've already oh. professed our love for these. Yes. Yes. It's and it's and it's. Easily done, isn't it, mate? So we've literally spent five, ten minutes with these and they just play themselves, yeah, it seems to be. So they, they do. Um, but yeah, we, so you we did a video recently where we got the combustion series of um, sort of the Nolly Get Good um, signatures from Dingwall. So we've done the video on that and you'll see this is one, only one of the ones we've got left, I think, one of the only ones in the store at the moment. Because right. all the other colours are sold out. Uh, but we're getting some stuff through very soon. Keep an eye out. There's more, more colours coming through, but we can't keep enough from at the moment. Popular bases, then. Absolutely. And then... So this happened. So this is a limited edition for uh, for this year. It's the tenth anniversary since Dark Glass, the um, uh, tenth anniversary of Dark Glass, and they've been working with Dingwall for quite a long time of that, at least half the time, with using their tone capsule preamp okay. in their bases. Right. So um, obviously, so there's quite a lot to go through with the neck, uh, through with sorry, with the actual base themselves. But this in itself is quite interesting because it's like a high mid, low mid bass uh, preamp. Into right. it. Instead of having a treble, a bright, that type of actual brightness, um, that's something that Sheldon Dingwall was trying to, to help with the dark glass, um, to actually help it sort of incorporate into the bass. It's like you don't need that extra, that kind of frequency. We can find that most of it is in the high mid where you can play around and, and cut, get the cut through. So, okay. So that was interesting. So, and this is purely a limited edition in the dark glass styling of all their pedals and amps. We've got one of them here. Um, in this kind of brushed chrome grey silver that's a, a very cool looking thing, thing. I have to say. yeah with the dark glass logo 10th anniversary with the x cool and i think it's on the back as well yeah you got a nice little 10th anniversary thing on the back but apart from that it's pretty much like like what like we're sort of seeing with the normal ng2s and threes you got an extra pickup in there that's what i meant by the three yeah, yeah. So, the, so this is this is an ng3 mini it's got three pickups now um dingwall your web website, I was trying to look through pickup um, configurations and there wasn't one that I could find that explained. Okay, so here we go, I'll, I'll start again. So two pickups has a rotary switch of four ways. Um, so we have bridge right at the back, like that. Uh, we have bridge and neck in parallel on the second selection there. Then we have bridge and neck in series and then we've got neck on its own. Okay. That's the standard NG2 controls yeah um so what you see in there the thing is i've got four selections here right and three pickups right i don't know what the other pickups doing at okay. the moment to be honest i'm sure it's doing something um but i couldn't find anything to explain i would expect there's six if they're saying that you, you can have pick up each pickup in series or parallel which is how it's described on the website then i would expect like i don't know six we will endeavor to find out but and update you there we go at some point that's just a little little detail <laughs> But apart from that, right, so we have some gorgeous, gorgeous bases. So the construction there is all three piece, 
uh, three piece maple neck, maple board. You Just flip would... it over again because it's got the coolest oh, thing. Oh, yeah, it. This is my shout. favourite thing in the world at the moment. I love it. Look, it's a so magnetised battery is, compartment. You have two nine volt batteries in there for the preamp, and look, it's just it goes on with this really powerful magnet. Ah, oh, see? it's so satisfying. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I got you one got here one as well. You got to play with yeah, it. Oh. Oh. There we go. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah, I yeah. buy it just for that. <laughs> yeah, just for easy use battery sorting out. No, but you'll see the Novax fan fret system. Um, so it looks like. Um, yeah, it looks like exactly what it sounds. It's all fan, fan fretted, but it's a uh, very, uh, I don't know, un, unexplored thing really for a lot of, lot of customers, especially when they're seeing these. Yeah. At the moment, I'm getting the experience I, of like... I think it will probably freak a lot of people out when they look at it, because they yeah. think that's going to be really difficult to play. But, you know, it really isn't. If you don't think about it, it's fine. It's the opposite, isn't it? it, it actually, once you get into it and you spend a bit of time with these bases, it does yeah. naturally make... At, it, at no point do you... Think, oh, I can't play this. You know, no. it's just it's it's all fine, right? Yeah, yeah. And I haven't had a load of experience of playing with fan fret bases, but this is really I, not a problem. So I'm the same. I, I don't let really... it put you off. No, it might look a bit weird, but uh, it's all right. That's it. And, and so the thinking behind it is. Yeah. So it, it actually so when you move uh, your hand across a, a neck or a fretboard of a guitar, obviously the the natural way your hand wants to wants to curve in is is where. They have now sort of splay, splayed. Is that used to be splayed the fret? So, so the longer scale on the, that is just a happy sort of a bonus, is it? Because you know, because obviously you get a better, you um, get a better a a tension on the B string, yeah, on the B string. So it doesn't flap about as much. Yeah, you've technically got longer scale. Yes, yeah, so you've got thirty-seven inch scale on the B, and it's a thirty-four on the G. Right. So between that, it does, yeah, sort of divides up between there. But yeah, you get more scale. On the thicker strings. I just wonder which came first. Was it that? Was it that, that they were after? The... Were they trying to solve that problem? Yeah, maybe. Or... And, they, and they and they won with both at the same time. Going, let's we, let's just angle that the bridge there. Do that bit of that. Yeah. <laughs> but no, because I was just thinking about know. what you're saying with the, with the hand sort of natural curvature. You know, it, but I've, that's really, it. I've never even thought about that. Yeah. I thought it was uh, I thought it was the whole thing about the the, the scale. No, I, I, well, as far as I as far as I went, it's literally that's where your hand and there was like Spanish guitars, especially I think Spanish guitars that were made years ago, acoustic instruments as well with this fan fretting system. Oh, okay. Where it was, um, uh, yeah, there was that. That was like early early styles of it, or early early um, early things that were, were just were made. But this has sort of been brought up today. I'm pretty sure this was the first kind of mass produced uh, fan fret system, this Novak system that, that Ding will use. Mm. Um, and yeah, as I say, it's made, oh, what we're doing earlier, like all this fast stuff that you, you wouldn't normally be able to play on the bass. Mm. <laughs> like the legato stuff, yes. the setup on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> it's, it's, no, you don't do that, do you? You don't do that. <laughs> right. But it lets you, it lets you do it, <laughs> and it's uh, yeah, very, very easy, easy basses to play. They, they really are. They're, they're set up really nicely. Because bear in mind, you've got, uh, they, they make uh, guitars in Canada, right? Yes. Which are obviously a lot of money, I'd imagine. Yeah, all Canadian basses. Yeah, there's about an 18 month wait, I think, on those at the moment. And oh, well, that's um, the first problem. You that's can't the first problem. Yeah, yeah. You need to be, get them to build it, and and it's about two and a half grand upwards. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, uh, these are uh, constructed in China. They are indeed. And some of the best Chinese instruments, I must say, oh, I've tremendous. ever seen. Absolutely, yeah. It's There's absolutely no um, question of any sort of quality control issues with these because they're really nicely finished, aren't they? Oh, absolutely. And yeah. They play yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. This is it. And what I say, we've literally just got this. We filmed this video. There's the last one of the day that we're doing because we've been waiting for these to turn up. Literally straight so that's off, out the box. That's straight off the van, out right. out the box, and it just plays like that. Yeah. Tremendous. Yeah. So it's a good sign, isn't it? But. So yeah, so a little bit more, you've got your active passive switching. So if you didn't want to use that, that dark glass preamp in there as well, you can literally just yep, turn that off, go to a passive mode. Okay. Um, but really, yeah, I, mean, I think we just have a little, have a little play. I'll tell we? you what, you have a so, play and I'll um, yeah. go through some of the different tonal things. All right, man, shall I go back pick? Are we starting back pick up? Back pick up. Back pick up is always good. Um, yeah, everything, sort active. Of, everything flat, I suppose. Because you've got cut and boost on the EQ. A uh, little, uh, little centre, little click there. Detente. Detente. I'm just going to have some tea. I haven't had any, I haven't had any tea for about three minutes, so... Oh, good chat. Well, I'm going to have a swig of coffee as well. Ah! Right! Mm. Coffee! Let's do this thing. Okay. Uh, uh, let me just remember what everything does. Cool. Volume. I'll pick a key. Pick up selector. Uh, 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 mid, high mid, low mid, bass. Boom. Right! <laughs> Thank 
Uh, that is, uh, do you know what? I'm really impressed with that. That sounds great. That sounds fantastic. But that EQ is doing loads, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you know, know that mid scoop. Yeah, that yeah. mid scoop thing is very straight away. Just take that out. Yeah, that's good. I, I, I don't mind. There's no treble because they've just made the treble a lower frequency, haven't they? Really? Right. Yeah, yeah. So it still is. It still is treble. You get brightness if you need it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's not. It. Not. It's not. It's not like. Busy kind Fizzy, of levels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's absolutely. just a more musical, bass-friendly EQ. That's it. Yeah. I, I really like that. You can totally get the scooped, and then you can totally get the mid-boost as well. So The um, boost? Scoop and boost. <laughs> just get excited in the other room. Uh, yeah. Scoop, yeah. boost. He's on the album, Mill, aren't you, Pete? Yeah. Scoop, boost. He's not, not himself. Almond um, milk. He's becoming a vegan. No, 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 no. No, don't say no, that. Don't, that's don't pressure. That's pressure. Um, also, uh, what really is surprising is because you kind of think, well, they're all so close together. Is there going to be a lot of difference when you do the pickup thing? But actually, there is. Yeah. There yeah. is quite a significant difference between the back and the front. And then, you know, the middle sort of parallel and series options are good. That, that series thing, as we, we learned on another video, yes. is much hotter. Yeah, 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 yeah. The it. pickups in series is a lot hotter. And there's, there's, there is that kind of, there's the selection, I just remember it as the, the second one in, I think that's in parallel. That one in particular. You got everything on. Where are we? <laughs> Maybe I'm making it up. I'm thinking of. I think of the second one. Sorry. So yeah, from the back pickup. So yeah, that is parallel. That is parallel, isn't it? So a bridge. Yeah, because it's back parallel series front. So the parallel one, that. That, that to me is like the dingle And the thing. next one, you see the difference in output when you go on at the series. Yeah. Back. Yeah, back. But yeah, they've got... Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it's like got their it. thing, and, and, and it's been interesting to like put side by side some of these like classic, active circuitry bases that we got. So you look like you know Music Man's Stingrays and GNL L2000s mm. and um, and Warwick and Spectre and all the, all those you know, and they've all got their individual characteristics. We've said it before, but like didn't think that another brand could come on the scene and go, do you know what? You know, this is what we do, and it has its own personality you know yeah, it's, which, it's nice to see somebody doing something different and yeah. it being different but still good yeah not yeah, yeah. for the sake of it yeah yeah, yeah but, that's uh, it. you know yeah it's but cool. actually doing it for a reason it's, yeah i like right. it and uh, i do i have to say i love that color i love oh, that yes really right nice. so this is it they are making it in these dark glass colors they've just done one one batch i believe um i don't know it might be available for the rest of the year but but check online check the, the details because our guys would have had the deets um but i don't think they're gonna be around very long in this particular finish this styling 
the NG2s and 3s will have in loads and loads of colours, but this one in particular, if you want to celebrate Dark Glass's 10th anniversary with Dingwall. Or you just want a really cool looking and sounding bass. Yeah! Look at that, it's, man. It's a thing of beauty. Silver. <laughs> and it looks great. And it plays itself. Yay! Or more. You can go can out and make have... a cup of tea and... Yeah, leave it to do his thing. Yeah. Cool! Anyway. Right. Well, that's it, innit? Let's play them. Let's play more. Ooh, we'll whoosh. shut up and we'll leave these people to their thing. Nice to see you, folks. This has been All About the Bass. I've been Nathan. I've been Lee. And uh, if you enjoyed it, come back and see us next time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. ta, -ta. <laughs>